Good morning YouTube. It is currently almost 8.30 a.m. on Wednesday the 30th of November. So today we've got a full day of eating on a rest day. I'm also going to take you along for bits and bobs to do. So on the agenda today I've got some laptop work to do this morning. Um, then I've got to go to Marlow back home to get a massage done which I'll take you guys along for as well and then I've also got to do some filming for the two blah, 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 for the gym joint 2.0 fucking struggling this morning need coffee that's also very highly on the list of things to do today um, and then I've also got client in the evening and yeah then apart from that I'll just take you through my meal so let's crack on with step one which will be getting coffee and doing some laptop work. Let's do that now. Morning, Chester. Morning. 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 How are you? Get back, get back. Morning. <laughs> Morning. Coffee has been acquired, gonna sit down and do some lap to work, so we'll do a cheeky time lapse. I'm also going to measure out some stuff for furniture for my new room. Um, so yeah, cheeky time lapse in three, two. Okay, so I've had all my furniture ordered now, so hopefully this room will be complete soon. So desk and like basically the rest of the stuff apart from the bed and the sofa bed will be arriving within the next week. Um, and then my bed arrives on the 21st of December because the cuts, they sold out, like they oversold it. So we won't get one till the 21st of December. Um, and then the sofa bed, because I found a sick one, um, it's, it was just so much better quality than the other ones, but the problem was it takes fucking like seven to nine weeks to come. Um, so we've ordered that now, um, but yeah, this is the fucking, it's a six loaf bed, I'll show you when it arrives. Um, the, all the other ones I was looking at, they were just fucking cheap framework. Like it just looked like some fucking shitty sofa bed that you'd order when you go to some dodgy cheap Airbnb and it's like, oh, can I get an extra bed? And it's just some fucking flimsy ass steel bros when I've got some fucking hefty boys staying in this room so we needed something with a bit more support so yeah gonna now go and have make me a one so that'll be one bagel with a scoop of weight isolate so we'll show you that now um I'll show you the macros on the screen here for meal one so let's go and consume the food all right so let's make the protein shake so I've won this fucking gasp hoodie for last, like this is the fourth day in a row. I fucking love this hoodie. This is, uh, everyone, this is the pro hoodie. It's fucking absolutely sick. Quality, thickness, it's just a fucking vibe. Everyone who's fucking seen me wearing this has gone, holy crap, this is one of the nicest hoodies I've ever seen. So this is probably my one of my favorite cops, if not my favorite cop from the Black Friday sale. Right, so let's make the shake, so. We got the perform where I slipped in chocolate creme um, and also because it's a rest day I need, also need to still take my creatine so I'm going to put a scoop of a scoop of creatine in the shake as well. So 300 mils of water and then I'll put the rest in. So I used to fucking hate having um, like water in my shakes but with the weight isolate, it's not too bad, especially because I'm just chugging it. I'm, it just mostly tastes like really watered down chocolate milk. Um, so I kind of hack that, especially when downing it, so it's not really that much of an issue. So I have one scoop of your finest chocolate creme. 
Pro tip, don't put it all in one go, otherwise the fucking splash back's gonna be mad and it's just gonna go all over you. It's creaking. Five grams a day, boys and girls, keep it easy. Do yourselves a favor, grab a JP bag, as I've already said before many times, this is so much better for the value for money. I basically got two thirds of a year's worth of creatine for fucking 26 pounds. Don't waste your money on ghost supplements or other fucking companies that try and charge you 30 quid for 30 servings. It's not fucking worth it. Right. I'm out here trying to save you guys money, right? Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll bang in our fucking multivitamin again today as well. So this came with um, my supplement mad order because of the Black Friday sale. They were like giving these out for free. So I'm going to take one tab of these. I'll also take other vitamins as well. But um, I still haven't sorted out my vitamin set up here. I just realized I'm not in the fucking frame at all. Yeah, I'm going to get um, a pill box. And I'm going to fucking put some of these in there and then also put my other vitamins in there. So let's take this as well. Right, let's give this a good shake. Down the hatch one. Got a bit dry lips. And then we'll sink the rest. Done. <clears throat> so another pro tip when it comes to having protein shakes, I would, I would recommend um, having a little bit of food that you chew with it, strictly because so when we chew food, it releases enzymes into the stomach basically to prepare for digestion. So if you're just fucking chugging a shake, um, your body's actually not really that prepared for um, for digestion. So even if you're having something small like piece of fruit or something like that um, which I'm actually supposed to have today as well fuck I forgot about that um, so yeah uh, you need to make sure that you have something to chew with it so that way you can release the digestive enzymes so if you're ever getting issues like stomach issues like cramping or just bloatation when you're having your shakes um, that may be one of the reasons why um, so yeah Ooh. so yeah have something to eat with your, with your fucking shakes even if it's just like with apple or banana something light like that, it will just help you digest it that much better. So, moving on to the bagel. So when you've got such gripped shins. Okay, so we have got one bagel here. Um, so, gonna have this and then gonna go and do um, some behind the scenes stuff for the gym joint. And then we're gonna get our massage. So, let me just quickly check on the camera if I need to have an apple with this on. Is this meal I need to have an apple with? Yeah, so I'm gonna have also have an apple with this meal as well. So yeah, gonna have this, enjoy this, have an apple on the way to the gym. Yeah, so let's have some food. First bite. Okay, so just got back from the massage. I feel fucking amazing, but now I'm really hungry. So gonna chow down on meal two today. Um, and then I'm gonna have a shower because I'm covered in fucking oil. All lubed up. So yeah, gonna, gonna eat this now. So let's go make some food. Um, I haven't decided if I want the beef meal, but I think I might have the mince and rice meal for now and then I'll have the chicken and rice meal next. So yeah, I'll just get stuck in. So that is meal number two going down, mince and rice. Then I'm also gonna have um, an apple after this as well to add some micronutrients to this. So we're gonna chow down on this, watch some Naruto probably, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you for whatever happens next. 
And here we have meal number three. So nothing's really happened in between meals two and three. Um, just did a light walk, um, did a little bit of clearing in my room, and uh, that's been about it really. So yeah, meal number three here. I'll put macros for meal two, and then macros for meal three. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to eat this, and I'm going to go and train a client, and then I'll be home. So we will then discuss meal four um, and talk about have my appetite strategies worked obviously since we did the last full day of eating so let's fucking dig into this and then yeah I'll see you guys for the last meal oh my god there's no rice I know it's actually a carb meal without any rice so last meal of the day is 400 grams of potato um, 150 grams of chicken and 50 grams of peas um, in the form of mashed potato because um, I just fucking was craving some mashed potato so that's what I like about potatoes um, I can have it as wedges I can have it as mashed potato um, there's just obviously there's just more options um, but yeah so this is the last meal of the day we'll frack the we'll frack oh my god I'm so tired we'll whack the uh, the old macros here um, 10 the time was 10 almost quarter past 10 um, had this having a little bit later than I wanted to got stuck in traffic on the way home from work um, that's one of the only L's now about living well having to go down the motorway to get home is accidents and traffic so yeah going to shout out on this um, and then yeah I'm going to head to sleep and then I'm up at 6.45 tomorrow um, so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video yeah I actually quite enjoyed this appetite's not being too bad today um, I was going to talk about the appetite like um, management since obviously the last episode but honestly I'm fucking way too tired so you, you know I'm going to record a clip tomorrow and I'll um, I'll insert that here so I'll insert that here okay so coming to you from the future um, to discuss obviously um, the full day of eating did my appetite strategy work um, so short answer yes it did um, appetite is back appetite is good not eating the same amount of food but i'm still eating a good amount of food um so to cover back over some of the things we did so obviously we dropped calories and we worked our way back up again um we included steps as a means to basically stimulate appetite and then we also included that appetite stimulating like 10 to 15 minutes of very 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 light cardio after sessions to also stimulate even more appetite um and all those things worked among other things um some other things i've done recently so i've spread out my protein servings more over the day um so that way the satiation isn't as as strong in certain meals because before i was only really having carbohydrates in three meals versus now i'm having uh, sorry protein in three meals versus now i'm having protein in four meals um so spreading across your your protein servings will improve your appetite um because protein is what makes you feel full um so if you're having small amounts over the day you obviously will not going to obviously basically spike and basically like clog your appetite for the rest of the day um and i've also switched my food groups up so um as you have seen before this was just bagels chicken and rice now we've got bagels chicken and rice beef and rice chicken and potato cocoa pops um and leave a little bit of fruit so yeah much much better so i think that's more or less um the clip that basically you need for this part so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed this video and let's get you back to basically the end of the video and then for now like share comment subscribe and uh yeah we'll see you guys in the next video